first thing we need to do for this recipe is cut up our sweet potatoes and get them boiling. As always, sometimes I forget to say it at the beginning, but I will include in the description box down below the full written recipe. Also, if you don't make it to the end of my videos, you might not hear, but I upload a video every other day. And if you like this video and you enjoy my content, it would be very much appreciated if you liked the video and just click on the like button. It doesn't cost you anything. That is only if you like it. And if you do like my videos, hit the subscribe button down below, which is also free. And that will just ensure that you see my videos when I publish them. And it will also help me with my channel and it doesn't cost you anything. And now I'm getting sweet potato peels everywhere. I'm just going to get these on the stove and boil them until they are nice and tender and then we will move on to the next step. I'm going to use this leftover piece of butter to butter the casserole dish. You want to use an 8x8 for the recipe. So we need six tablespoons of butter. So I'm just going to get this chopped. and ready for the potatoes when they're done. Just going to set that aside. We are going to need two eggs. We need a quarter cup of milk. We also need a quarter cup of sugar. I know what you're thinking. Where's the brown sugar? It's coming up in the topping. Don't panic. We are also going to be using vanilla. This is my homemade vanilla, but use whatever vanilla you like and have on hand. I do have a video on my vanilla making. If you are interested, I can link it in the description box as well, but that's that. And we will also need some salt. I'm just deciding if I'm going to get the ingredients out for the topping. The potatoes aren't even boiling yet, so let's do that. Half a cup of flour, I'm gonna put it over here. I'm going to keep my ingredients for the topping separate. We need a half cup of brown sugar, like I talked about. We need a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm just going to put it in here with the brown sugar. We need four tablespoons of melted butter. This is frozen, so I just want to get it chopped up and on its way to melting anyway. We need three quarters of a cup of pecans. Of course, I'm eyeballing it. Let's see how we did. One. I think we might have done it. Yes. Three quarters. Okay, I've got all the ingredients prepped and ready to go. Let me see if the sweet potatoes are done yet. They aren't quite there yet. While I'm waiting, I'm just going to butter this dish with that little pat of butter I had. I love this recipe because I feel like it covers all of the bases as far as sweet potato dish goes because it has this crunchy pecan topping which you bake and then towards the end you take it out and you put marshmallows on top and then bake it just for like an additional 10 or 15 minutes to brown the marshmallows. 
What I love about this is you could skip that marshmallow step entirely if you just wanted to leave it with the kind of more sophisticated pecan topping, or you could leave out the pecan topping entirely and just do a marshmallow topping with this. I just like that there's all of these options. I am going to do the pecan topping and the marshmallows because I think it just sounds so, so good. I'm adding in the six tablespoons of butter, a teaspoon of salt, and it calls for a teaspoon of vanilla, which I'm just going to put into the milk. A quarter cup of sugar and the eggs. Now we just want to get this mashed. Friends, I just want to say that while editing this video, I reread the recipe, and that was supposed to be a quarter cup of brown sugar, not regular sugar. I will include down below in the description box the correct recipe. Just know that either way, it was still delicious. You can mash it as smooth as you like or leave it a little chunky. Now I'm going to get the sweet potato into our little casserole dish. It smells so good. Now let's get the topping on. I'm just going to smooth this out. So to the pecans, I am going to add the flour and the brown sugar and the cinnamon. And now the butter is melted. I'm going to add that in. And then we are just supposed to mix this until it forms a crumble topping. I've had this dish before, I've never made it myself. I just know it's so good. Now that I see the recipe and all of these ingredients, I know why it's so amazing. So the crumbles are definitely forming. And it's not Thanksgiving yet, today is November 6th. Hopefully you guys will be seeing this on November 8th, so you have time to try it, practice it, whatever. But if you're wondering what I'm doing with the sweet potato, I am actually roasting up some chicken tonight for dinner. Just a savory, herbed chicken, simple. But I thought the sweet potato dish would go really good with something savory like that. So that's what I'm doing with this tonight. I feel like I didn't get that combined very well, but that's okay. I'm just going to spread this around. Wow, this is going to be so good. So we are just going to bake this at 350 for 30 minutes. I'm going to take it out, top it with some marshmallows, and then bake it for another 10 or 15 minutes until those marshmallows are nice and golden brown and lovely. I cannot wait to have this with dinner tonight. We will be back. I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. We will be back in a little bit to give it a taste test. Mmm. Whoa. That is so good. I have to take another bite. Mm. Try this recipe. If you don't like the marshmallows, you can leave them off. There's three different ways you could do this sweet potato recipe, which is part of what I love about this recipe. You could do what I did and do the whole works. You could do just the marshmallow topping or you could do just the pecan topping. Three different ways. I think 
there's something here for everyone. It's the classic Thanksgiving sweet potato side dish. Give this one a try. I promise you will not be disappointed. I just want to say thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.